Hey Rob, thank you for inviting us to do some filming here at Morrison's in Swaddling Coat. Can you tell us a little bit of the history of um, Morrison's? Because it goes back a long way, doesn't it? Yeah, it does. Uh, William Morrison, uh, founder in the business. Um, started off with market stalls uh, up in Bradford, five of them. Sir Ken, William's son, took over the business when his dad was ill uh, and he actually came back from war to uh, set up a business and found the business. Um, he then purchased a site in Bradford. He then went on to develop that and bring that round Bradford and then start to spread across the country, developing and improving different stores that were already out there to the current 500 stores uh, that we've got across the country from big uh, mega stores to convenience stores and now opening in petrol stations uh, up and down the country. Well, what size of store is this one here in Swaddling This is 35,000 square foot. Yeah, this is one of the sort of core stores, oh, mega stores that we've got. They range from around 12,000 square foot up to around 42,000 square feet. Unfortunately, the chairman, uh, Sir Ken Morrison, died recently. He, he did, yes. He unfortunately passed away uh, at the beginning of this year. Um, the stores have held their own tributes to Sir Ken, uh, but we are carrying on with his legacy of being a fully uh, integrated company. So we have pretty much control over a lot of what we bring into the stores, whether that be fruit and veg, fresh meat, fresh fish, and, and pizzas that we produce. Rob, uh, tell me why uh, Morrison's is different from other supermarkets. Well, what Sir Ken left with us and the legacy he left with us, uh, he wanted us to be a self-sufficient uh, company uh, and brand. So what we, we have uh, in Scotland, we have our own uh, farm, and abattoirs uh, and butchers so we are able to produce our own meat our own cuts so we have complete control over the meat that comes into store so just to put it into some scale we've got around 500 stores and this farm is producing meat which is supplying uh, 500 stores with all our meat so a really big working farm that we have in Scotland uh, and our own abattoirs so we are able to meet demand uh, and peaks in trade uh, which we believe our competitors will struggle to do because they don't have that control. We also have our own fishery in Grimsby. We recently purchased a uh, fishery site in Grimsby so we have control over our own uh, fishermen that go out uh, to sea so we have control over the stock that comes into the store uh, and again we have more control over the supply and the control of uh, the quality of the product that comes into store. Um, we have various uh, growers uh, uh, of fruit and veg uh, that we use around the country. Uh, so we have uh, locally sourced apples, uh, carrots, potatoes, etc. But again, they grow um, specifically for Morrisons. So we have control over what products come uh, into the store. Uh, and again, to meet volume and peak uh, trade periods. We've recently uh, bought Flower World in Derby. So all the bouquets that come into the stores up and down the country are produced by our own people. So the, the flowers are bought uh, from hothouses uh, in the country uh, and all packaged uh, and bunched together uh, in our own uh, warehouse in Derby and then distributed up and down the store, uh, country to the stores. Uh, in store we make our own pizzas, um, so we do that on demand. Uh, if, if a customer wants a pizza making fresh, there's a bar there where they go to, uh, the, the staff on there uh, know all the specs of the pizzas that we do and we will make a pizza fresh for you in, in store. Tell, tell me Rob, being a supermarket that is quite different from other supermarkets, what sort of a feedback do you get about from this from the customers? We get a lot of feedback around the one-to-one -one, uh, interaction with the colleagues. We've got skilled butchers, we've got skilled fishmongers, we have skilled cheesemongers, we have uh, the skilled guys that are producing this product day in, day out. Uh, so they're able to give a really personalised service to the customer. So although we do pre-pack options, a lot of the products that we do are cut or wrapped or packed to order fresh. 
uh, so the, the customer can really see the difference in the product that they're producing. And uh, this, for this them. must entice customers to come here. Yeah. No, indeed, yeah. I mean, that, that is what we say is our point of difference, our market street, where we have that autonomy over what we can produce. Uh, we can hit and meet peaks in trade, so we've got Easter and Mother's Day coming up. Uh, we, we know that we will be well prepared for the flowers and bouquets that will be coming in because we have our own uh, distribution centre that can facilitate that. So we think we are ahead of the game when it comes to meeting demand. We can meet the customers' demands when they're in store. We're not just a pre-packed product. Uh, we offer that, that skill and we can offer that individual one-to-one -one knowledge of, of, of butchering meat, uh, uh, of producing fish that, that we can pack for them uh, on a day-to-day -day basis. No, indeed, that's the message that we're trying to get out there. That is uh, the message that we want the, the, the customers to understand, that we have a lot more, uh, it's what they call vertical integration within the business, so we have control over our own products and can bring fresher products into stores. And was it Ken Morrison really that started the ball rolling here? Yeah, it was, it was his vision, it was his idea, it was his uh, first, you know, he was the the person that, that brought the first distribution centre for Morrison's, he wanted us to have our own site so we had that control, uh, mm. which was what a lot of our competitors don't have. Hi Matt, uh, thank you for doing the interview with us. Uh, you're the meat and fish manager here at Morrison's in Swaddling Code. That's correct, yeah. Tell me, let's go first to fish. I mean, how big a market is there for fish? Uh, it's a very big market. They do fish farms, so they can source their own fish, so they can meet demand. They've got their own fish boat. It's quarter to Grimsby, yeah, yeah. obviously they get packed off fresh, uh, go to depot, and then end up on the, on the counters. Now, um, Matt, what about the meat here? Now, what's your best seller in the meat? Best seller depends on which uh, promotion we have really. If we've got a good promotion like this week, we've got uh, a butcher's pack at ten pounds. So yeah, that's that's that. a really good seller for this week. So it all depends on what offers you've got. And, and you're a trained butcher, aren't you? Yeah, I've been in the business for over twenty years now. Worked for Morrison's for over twenty years as well. Oh, have you? Yeah. yeah. And you enjoy it? Yeah, it's great. Great place to work. <laughs> and. Um, what, what are the skills in, with me? Yeah, you do have to do apprentices uh, to be trained. Um, you're looking at a 12-month apprenticeship scheme. Yeah, we cut to size. Uh, any requests that the customers really uh, want, we can do it for them. Yeah, brilliant, man. That's great stuff. Thank you. Thank you very much.